Hi everyone, my name is Sa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. First off, I wanted to leave a huge, huge, huge thank you to everyone that um, liked and subscribed and commented on my very first video. Today we're going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite things in the world. It's up there with books and music and photography. Um, and that is chandeliers. Um, so in this video we're going to be talking about like where to get them. Um, if you have like a particular color scheme in mind for your home, don't freak out. If you can't find one that fits it, then you can make one your very own um, and get it like I did um, to kind of match everything um, in your room. And also we're going to talk about how to install the crystals and the beads and give it like that very signature chandelier shape. So without any further ado, let's get started. So one of the best places to find chandeliers are antique stores and also garage sales. Those are definitely your best bet because they are where you find those old-fashioned antique chandeliers such as this one, which is one of the very common ones. So the first thing we're going to use um, is a spray paint that I purchased at Target and I'm going to link down below. We're going to shake it up very well and we're going to do the candle part of the chandelier. So we're going to spray it all around and don't worry if you get a little bit on the corners or on the bottom because we're going to spray paint that a different color later. So once you've done all 21 of them, you're then going to grab some aluminum foil and you're going to be cutting it in 21 different sheets and just wrapping those around the candle part of your chandelier. Make sure it's really tight and I'm sorry this looks a little awkward because I'm doing it with one hand while holding the camera in the other. Also make sure that the top part is closed off to prevent the next uh, spray paint that you're going to use from getting inside um, and mixing those colors up. So I'm going to use satin gray next for the rest of the chandelier and you're going to go all around it and wait for it to dry overnight. So the next morning you're going to be able to take away the aluminum foil from the candlesticks and your final result will look something like this and just keep in mind that you can do this with any two three four colors if you use this method it'll probably turn out something like this um, and it's very very easy to do so once installed your chandelier is going to look beautiful by itself but if you want to add the crystals to it i'm gonna start with the middle portion of my chandelier it has three tiers and we're going to be adding the beads and the crystals to this part first. So once we measure the top part, the middle part, and the bottom part, um, we're going to then be measuring all the crystals that we need and once we make sure we have the right number and then they're all um, symmetrical, we're going to start adding them. So I'll start with the top part, the middle part, and then I'll add the last part is the bottom part. At the top and the middle of each one of the 21 arms, I'm going to add a beading and crystal, so in like a cascading form. And then I want to make sure that I kind of unify everything and bring it down and make it look like it's cascading down. So I'm just going to start adding crystals to the bottom part of the chandelier. Everything that you do on one side, you want to do on the other side. So symmetry is very, very important when decorating a chandelier. Um, just making sure that you have equal amounts and... Um, that everything that you do on one side, you do on the other. So once that's done, you're going to end up with something like this. So what I like to do is I like to give my chandeliers a very prominent V-shape and cascading effect because to me, uh, that's the way they look the best. Um, so for this next part, what we're going to do is we're going to be hanging the beading. And for the beading, we're always going to remember, like my sister said, to skip the middle part. So you do one skip, one skip, one skip, going all around. And I use Clear Fisherman's Line. Um, because uh, when used properly you can't see it, it's like almost invisible. So I'm just going to go all around the chandelier very loosely hanging that beading because I like the effect that it gives the chandeliers. Um, and once you're all done making sure that, you know, it's symmetrical all around, you're going to go with, you know, a pair of scissors and cut out any protruding little edges, um, anything that's sticking out, make sure that everything is nice and tidy. And once you are done, you're going to be rewarded with your finished product that would look something like this. And that concludes this video, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching it. Uh, if you liked it, you could leave a comment or a little thumbs up. You could also check me out on Instagram or check out my room tour. And as always, thank you so much again and stay blessed. Bye.